Okay, so Miss Buttercup has been trying to show me that she can outgrow me. She's been busy chilling over here. And, and, and the funny thing is, is she, yes, she is rooting and chilling over there, but she leaves this beautiful plant right here. And I'm not sure what it is, but she's got blooms. She, it's going crazy. Um, she dumps her water bowl all the time right in here. So it's really it's getting watered. It looks better than my stuff in the garden. I really think this little pig can outgrow me. That's scary. Hey guys. Okay, it's Wednesday. Um, it's the Wednesday after the wreck. Um, this is the garden update. You can see that I've been working to clip some of these heads. I did that last week. I honestly haven't been down in here a whole lot. So things are starting to look pretty. I haven't even been down here to water. Oh, there's just a, a cucumber. Look, oh my goodness, there's one, there's one. So I'm gonna have to get down here and harvest. Those are my yellow cucumbers. Um, these are my tomatoes, some basil. Oh my goodness, I haven't watered and look at my strawberries. I'm gonna have to water again. I know they'll come back, but pretty much a week without being able to water, without being able to be down here, I've lost a lot of things. My peaches, this tree was loaded. Um, they're now falling off and I've lost 90% of them. I know a lot were buggy, but I'm gonna get down here and harvest what I can tonight. Um, the world just kind of stopped when RJ had his wreck. So um, the same thing with the apples. I've noticed a lot of them are going buggy. I'm gonna get down here and get what I can and save what I can one week with no attention and this is kind of like, I haven't been down here to water, nothing. I normally water every morning. Um, the vines still seem to be taking off. They don't seem to have a problem with it. There is, oh my goodness, all kinds of blooms down in here. Uh, it looks like I can see cucumbers from here. Um, this hasn't been mowed, nothing. Uh, I'm going to say that these are... Is that the gourds coming up? I don't know what's coming up there. Um, I do see some cucumbers if I don't get out here and get them taken I'm gonna lose them um, there's more in there and you can see the vine is now all the way out here you can see it's gone I try to train them and I haven't been down here for a week I haven't done anything for one week so pretty much what you're seeing is me coming down here saying oh my goodness so pretty much oh my goodness let's look here looks like is there anything in there I don't know it's a pretty big sized plant but some blooms no uh, veggies or anything in there yet um, I don't know what that is coming out I'm gonna guess maybe that is the loofah gourds I don't know I'm trying not to step on any vine but see there <laughs> see this right here I don't know maybe that's watermelon this looks like watermelon this is watermelon but I don't know what it's wrapped around maybe loofah gourd I don't see any gourds, but that's the funniest looking plant, and I hadn't seen any of those until I got down here. If you look, the whole tarp is pretty much covered. It's just vines, vines, vines. Um, the good thing is at least the gourds won't be ready probably until fall. So I don't have to worry about losing them. Um, if there are any gourds forming, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen, you know gourds are a lot different than fruits gourds i know about and gourds you have to wait till the first frost comes and kills them off of the vine and, and turns the uh, stem brown so i'm okay with that i know i haven't lost any gourds in there uh the watermelon and the um honeydew melon or whatever the other melon is and the watermelon cucumbers that i'm i'm concerned a little bit about this over here, yeah, my tomato, it's kind of bit the dust. Um, again, the wind came, blew. I've got more vines taking over. Rosemary, gone. Lavender's doing okay. Looks like I've got some, oh, I've got another squash in there. I'm going to say a summer squash. I don't know. It's still got ridges, and it's still kind of dark. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Look at those zucchini. Okay. <laughs> that is a big dude. I'm going to have to come cut that down. It's probably like the whole plant. Um, okay, so we've lost a lot of that. And I realize it's because 
I quit tending to it for a week. Um, I was really good about doing it. And then these right here, see they're starting to brown it. It's lack of water. I haven't been down here to uh, water anything. I know they'll come back as soon as I get them some water. They'll prep right up, be fine. But pretty much, I guess the strawberry season is over and done with. Um, you know, we were getting a couple here and there. And, and I see a few on there, but it looks bug eaten. Yeah, see, and dried up. If I kept going, we'd have had a few here and there. RJ sure liked eating them. But we're going to water this. I'll water tonight and see. And here's the thing, guys. This has been the hottest week um, that we've had. It was 111 and 110 when RJ was having his heat stroke and the car wreck and all that stuff. So, hottest week of the summer for us. And I had to let the garden go. So, without water... It's pretty much done for for this year, but I'm going to see if I can't salvage some of these apples because, see, looky here. Some of those, oh, and they're getting soft. They're, they're good. I'll be making um, some, oh, don't fall off. <laughs> um, and, and again, there's some up in there that's, that's rotten. You know, I, I've got to get to them before the bugs do because we didn't spray anything. Um, we might have to look into spraying something, but I'm going to pick all of these that are ripe and I will make... Um, some pie filling type things and maybe dehydrate some for RJ. He likes to eat them. Um, the peaches. We started to do, RJ and I come down here and did it and then that was the day before he had his wreck. So, yeah. It is what it is. We lost the peaches. It, it, there's nothing I can say about it. We probably lost um, those strawberries right there. It is what it is. On the other hand, <laughs> We have climbing spinach, and look at that baby go. <laughs> she, she has just taken off. We got stems here. We'll end up with one wall um, of climbing spinach. We will take this thing and just wrap it around there. I've been training it to go up this and, and have a wall, and then next year, hopefully, it'll climb on the same thing. And this corner looks like it's going to spread. These two over here just really haven't done a whole lot. So we'll see. But isn't that the prettiest thing? I'm not trying to be funny, but it it just, I, I know it's spinach. But it just, it climbs, it's great, and it's beautiful with that purple vine and that deep, rich leaves. It, just amazing. So, and it's little pink flowers are going to go to seed, so I'm going to let it. Um, like I said, I've got some cucumbers that... These are the orange ones, that, and I had never seen any this big, okay? So I think this is a little overripe. But, you know, normally they're about this big and start turning, okay? So um, I hadn't seen, this one will start turning yellow. I had never seen any that big. See, look here. There we go. We've got cucumbers there and cute. Little bitty cucumber there, baby cucumber. So I'll have to get out here. Here's another one, and this one will start turning that one in there will start turning that's the normal size for them to start turning but this big old giant one over here i think it's just because it got left so anyway the onions are doing good i have been popping off the heads and throwing them back in the bed so that i'll have onions next year um i have a ton that i've given away and i have a ton more to give away so um yeah I, I've got to get in here and get these all picked and, and put out and all that good stuff. So, absolutely nothing done in the garden. It looks just unwatered. That, that's the only thing I can say is um, it's gone all week unwatered, no attention. Um, I'm going to try and get out here tonight and get some things done. Maybe get some water to the strawberry. I really want to save those. Um, I'll probably water this stuff in the containers down there. The vines, it is what it is. <sighs> that spinach is beautiful. I'll probably water it too. But I'm not going to water trees. I'm not going to water the mint and the stuff. It, it just, for the most part, I need to start planting my fall stuff. That's all I can say.